How bad will this year's hurricane season be for the Mid-Hudson Valley? What's the forecast prediction and how can you prepare? We have the forecast and the guidance next. Hello, I'm Alana Daly from Central Hudson. And I'm Alex Mara, CEO of Hudson Valley Weather. As we prepare to enter another hurricane season, we at Central Hudson and Hudson Valley Weather are teaming up to help get you the information you need to weather whatever Mother Nature has in store. In a moment, we'll go through our 2021 hurricane season outlook, which unfortunately looks like it may be another busy one. Mm. But first, we know that severe weather can impact electric service. When there is a Hudson Valley weather forecast indicating that a severe storm can impact our area, Central Hudson prepares our crews to respond and repair outages as quickly as possible. Here are the top five things you can do to prepare before the storm hits. A storm is headed our way and it may cause outages. Here are the top five things you need to know to prepare to keep your family and your pets as comfortable and safe as possible. Number one, pay attention to weather forecasts, advisories, and warnings. Number two, fully charge your electronic devices. You'll want to be able to report an outage if necessary. And follow us on Facebook or Twitter for restoration updates. Number three, keep handy flashlights, headlamps, and extra batteries. Number four, stock packaged or canned foods that do not need refrigeration and have a supply of bottled water. Fill your bathtub for extra reserves if you rely on an electric well pump. Number five, make sure you have a battery powered or wind up radio. If you lose power, this will help you stay informed of emergency information. We understand that losing power is an inconvenience, but be assured we are ready to address any issues if they occur. Please visit our website for more storm preparedness tips. Alex, we've had quite a few big storms hit our area in the last few years. Let's take a look at the top 10. Absolutely. What stands out the most when you look at this graphic is just the amount of storms. We're not looking at, you know, top 10 storms you know, in the last decade. We're just looking at top 10 most severe storms in the history of central Hudson. Which is 120 years. And the amount of which have occurred in such a short amount of time. When you look at each of those storms, you can see the symbiotic relationship between weather, you know, and, and, and central Hudson, which is great that we're here talking about it. And ultimately in a moment, rolling out our hurricane outlook because it's clearly a very big impactor when it comes to utilities across the region. And I'm sure folks at home can look at some of these storms and, and remember the impact it had on them personally. I can look at them and remember forecasting most of them uh, with the exception of 1987 one. I was only five, but I was probably just as intrigued by what was happening outside my window. That's great. And um, we're so happy you could join us today because I think providing that type of information so our customers can be prepared is, is critical. Absolutely. Thank you. Alex will be sharing Hudson Valley weather's outlook for the 2021 hurricane season next. But first, we'd like to introduce a new feature that Hudson Valley Weather and Central Hudson will be using. Thanks, Alana. So jointly, Hudson Valley Weather and Central Hudson has created an impact map that clearly and concisely can communicate to our, our followers, your customers, and the public in general, the expected impacts of storms well in advance of their arrival. Um, it's important when dealing with something as complicated as forecasting that we try to simplify the message as best we can. So what we did is we, we broke it into three categories, confidence, uh, impacts, and outages. Uh, the confidence scale is exactly what it appears to be. Uh, that will obviously be based on a multitude of things, time, duration, away from the actual storm event, uh, the data, how conclusive is it, and then that scale will obviously increase as we get closer to the storm. And in the more complex situations, we may have storms where the confidence remains lower average up until the event. Uh, the next uh, section we have is impacts. Those will be rated off of many things, time of day, weekend versus weekday, duration of the event, intensity of the precipitation, accumulations, property damage risk, tree damage potential. And then finally, 
brings us to the light bulb, which is where Central Hudson comes into play. And our communication with each other will dictate uh, where to, whether or not we think that the impacts and the confidence will align to create isolated widespread or in the worst case scenario, catastrophic outages. This is so helpful, I think, for customers and um, you know, as we try to prepare for storms. I, I think these are all the things that both your organization and our organization are thinking about when we're preparing, but this is a really, um, it's a nice summary, and I think it'll help uh, customers be ready when the next storm is forecasted. Okay, now let's talk about the forecast for this year's hurricane season, which starts in June. Alex, how bad will it be? Promise not to be mad at me? No. Well, there's a lot of things we look for uh, when trying to forecast hurricane season. First graphic we have here is last 10 Atlantic hurricane seasons. We have the amount of tropical storms that occurred each season, the amount of hurricanes that occurred each season, how many of them were considered major hurricanes, and then overall where the season ranked um, towards average. When you look at last year, 2020, 30 tropical storms and 14 hurricanes. It was the busiest hurricane and tropical storm season in the previous 10 years, and it was tied for major hurricanes. So as you can see, it was an extremely active season as most of us remember last year. The other thing I'd like to point out is when you look at some of these years, you'll notice that we've also had a few years of below normal. Now, why is above normal extremely active? Why is that important to us here in the Hudson Valley? Well, when we go back to this graphic, you'll notice impacts from tropical storms on our utilities, 2011, 2020, 2018, Sandy 2012. All of those years were at least above normal from a hurricane tropical storm standpoint. We didn't have impacts in our region during below normal seasons. So there is a direct correlation between the number of tropical storms and hurricanes and the increased likelihood of impacts here in the Hudson Valley. Looking at the five most active hurricane seasons on record, this is what the sea surface temperatures looked like for those hurricane seasons blended together. White means the ocean temperature was average. Blues and purples mean the ocean temperature was below average. And when you get into the greens, yellows, and reds, that shows you where the ocean was warmer than usual. So if I bring you over here to the North Atlantic, in the five most active hurricane seasons, you can see the pattern of the ocean warmth. And why is that important? Because ocean warmth is, in fact, the fuel for hurricanes and tropical storms. Here's what ocean temperatures looked like last year, which as we previously stated, was our busiest hurricane and tropical storm season in the previous 10 years. Warm stretch of water in the North Atlantic, warm water off the coast of Africa. Um, you can even see in here the details of what we call the Gulf Stream, um, which brings warm water up the East Coast. Now, if we advance forward, here is current sea surface temperatures right now in April. As you can see, if I toggle back and forth, there are some striking similarities between ocean temperatures now versus ocean temperatures last year. That in itself points to the fact that the Atlantic Ocean is once again warm enough and conducive enough for what should be another above average hurricane season. Brings us to what we believe the forecast will be. And again, no one's ever hit any of these on the nose. Um, 2020, we had 30 storms, uh, 14 of which were hurricanes, six major. This season, uh, we're looking for 18 storms, nine hurricanes, four major. So again, an above average season because our average is to have 12 storms total, six hurricanes and three major. It looks like we will once again have an above average hurricane season in the Atlantic, which again, as we've, as we've shown historically, has impacts here in the Hudson Valley on utilities and commerce. So we'll hope that most of them steer clear, but it is something to be aware of and something to be prepared for. So earlier on, Alex, um, we talked about how hurricane season starts in June. But when you look at a lot of the top 10 storms um, on the screen there for Central Hudson, a lot of these hurricanes came in the August, September, October timeframe. 
what what can we tell Hudson Valley residents about when they could expect to maybe see some of these 18 storms and four majors? So the peak for hurricane season is August, September into early October. That is when the ocean is at its absolute warmest. Um, so, you know, usually impacts in our area tend to fall later in the season because as I mentioned, ocean temperatures are the fuel for hurricanes. Early in the season, the North Atlantic tends to still be quite chilly from the winter we just came out of, which means any storms that do form tend to dissipate as they approach that colder water. Uh, early, early season storms tend to uh, trend towards the equatorial regions, the Caribbean, where ocean sea surface temperatures are naturally warmer at all times of the year. And then the, the threat tends to migrate north as the sea surface temperatures follow suit. Thanks, Alex. We want to let you know that when severe weather is expected to impact the Mid-Hudson Valley, we will be there to help you get through it. Central Hudson and Hudson Valley Weather will get you the critical forecast and impact information you need. Our forecasts can be found at HudsonValleyWeather.com, Facebook, Twitter, iHeart Media Stations, and of course at the bottom of all Central Hudson storm warnings. For outage prep resources and electric service restoration information, be sure to follow Central Hudson on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and use our Storm Central outage map available on our website or mobile app. You can also text OUT, O-U-T, to 236483 for the fastest way to report an outage and get restoration updates. I'm Alana Daly. And I'm Alex Mara. For all of us at Central Hudson and Hudson Valley Weather, be safe.